Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, the fake dossier paid for by the Clinton Foundation and the Democratic Party and a prominent Republican, which we're going to find out who that is yet. But this fake dossier, which is proof of collusion, but that was nothing compared to $12 million that they tried to create a fake lies against President Trump, they tried to derail his presidential campaign, and now they're trying to derail his presidency with a pack of lies. But there is some other things. The collusion of the Clinton co uh, collaboration with the, uh, with the Russians doesn't stop with just the dossier. Of course, we know it's the 20% of uranium that uh, the American government took from landowners like the Bundys, the Bundy Ranch owners, and La Jolla Finnegan out there in Oregon during those standoffs. They took people's lands by using eminent domain, and then from that they sold the uranium rights to a company in Canada called Uranium One, who turned around as a third-party broker, sold the uranium to the Russians, who in turn kicked back $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. That's collusion. But we do know that Robert Mueller is under pressure. He's got to do something. I mean, the Clintons are going to kill him if he don't. I mean, I don't mean literally. I mean, literally, what I mean is they're trying, they're going to, they're going to get very upset at him and he's going to have to do something. Okay. He's got to do something. Something's got to stick. So he's going to bring down indictments upon one, two, maybe three people tomorrow. And I, I think it's going to be Manafort. I think it's going to be Paul Manafort. I don't know if he's guilty of anything or not. If he is guilty of something, it's going to be way before Donald Trump even came into the picture. And here's the reports we're starting to get. The FBI investigation of Donald Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, includes a keen focus on a series of suspicious wire transfers in which offshore companies linked to Manafort may have moved $3 million all over the globe in the years 2012 and 2013. Now that would have been the same time of Benghazi that Hillary was hiding her emails from her email servers from the government and that Hillary would have been uh, uh, in collusion with uh, the Obama administration, blessed by Eric Holder, of course, the attorney general, and of course, Robert Mueller, who is now the investigator, who was actually the head of the FBI at the time. So during the Paul Manafort Three million dollars moving around. Hillary Clinton was working on the Uranium One deal uh, that was worth billions, of which 145 million was kicked back into the Clinton Foundation. So, 2012, Mueller's got to do something to get the pressure off Hillary Rodham Clinton and the rest of the group that's involved in the Democratic Party. So he's got to go after someone, and people think it's going to be Manafort. Now, I have inside uh, information, let's just say this, word on the street, that there are three indictments that may come down tomorrow, and that is Paul Manafort, Michael Flynn, and uh, Jared Kirshner. Don't know if it's going to be these three, if they're all three going to get indicted with something, and even if they do, we don't know if there's any truth to it, because look at the dossier. We know the lies that are be pouring out of the left. So we're going to wait and see just what's going on. Is it Mueller against Manafort? Is that round one? Uh, where does this end up, folks? Look at the swamp. Look at the stench. Look at the slime. Look at the sleaze. Look at the slippery slope in the drain. Thank you, better get Drano. Plenty plunge it. Plunge, plunge. Because that thing is clogging up. There's so much slime in Washington. Don't miss tonight's Sunday Night Live. We're going to try our best to just get through all of the mess and hope the Lord will bless in these last days, okay? There's a lot going on. I'll see you guys tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. What? Tonight.